This week's topic of Amuna Mondays was the fear of new beginning. And before I begin, the class is dedicated to a couple names. So um, the first set is for a bracha for health, success, wealth, and ultimately clarity in everything that they do. And that the names are Marnina Bat Rezel Elisheva and Meira Eliana Bat Rezel Elisheva. As well as a Le'ule Nishmat for Halel and Yagel Yaniv, Roger Asher Ben Marcel, and Gabrielle Masauda Bat Sara. May all their Nishamas have the ultimate, ultimate Aliyah. So this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was chosen because the fear of new beginning is a genuine thing. Like starting anything new is scary, it's nerve wracking, it's stressful. And all those things would then fall under the, a lot of people would refer to those things as a lack of amuna. They would say fear, uh, stress, sadness, anger, frustration, those things come from a lack of amuna, which in a way it's fair. That's a fair statement. But I don't think it's that black and white. All those things are emotions, fear, stress. Those all come naturally. It's part of being human. It is unheard of to not experience any of those things. Yeah, that would then fall under the category of Amuna. But Amuna is not something that's felt 24-7. Amuna is an experience. It's not even uh, an emotion. Faith isn't even an emotion. It's, It's an experience. You can have an experience where it's going really well and or or it's going in a certain direction and you have quote unquote all this amuna and you're just going in no stress no worries no anything but then you can also have these moments 10 minutes later or the next day where it's all stressful and nerve-wracking and this and that and it's okay it doesn't mean that you're less than it means one day you had amuna and the other day you didn't but it's, it's it's one of those things that fluctuate. Amuna fluctuates. It's not something that's going to just be there 24-7. That's not human. It's, 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 that's, that's not even what humans do. It's, it's just not human-like to have Amuna 24-7. Obviously, that's our goal. But if, you be, if you're being honest, it's, it's borderline an unrealistic goal. Because naturally, we have emotions. We have traumas we have past experiences we have a mind and the mind does that to us we overthink we would over um over stress about a scenario we'll have fears those are all normal emotions and to count those out doesn't make sense in the long run so it's rather embrace it understand that amuna is an emotion uh, is is not an emotion it's an experience you can have a moment that will grab onto the, the aspect of amuna Others will last on to, uh, latch on to bitachon, which is more logical. And as soon as one understands that, they'd understand, you can start psychoanalyzing what's the reason the stress is coming, what's the reason the fear, the anxiety, where it's coming from. It's probably coming from trauma or a past experience. But the truth is, trauma and experience are extremely similar. The only difference is how one reacts. That's the only difference between trauma and experience. I can sit there and not ever move forward because of quote unquote trauma. Or I can use the exact same thing and not refer to it as trauma, not refer to it as a road bump in my life or a hiccup, rather as an experience. You know, if it entails, um, let's say somebody got divorced it's okay. It's all right. You know, that it happens in life. You didn't go into a relationship knowing you're going to get divorced. It's not normal. It happens. You don't know that route, but your, your life's not over. You know, and you not you don't look at yourself as, oh, I'm less than now because you, you, and oh, I'm traumatized from this experience and this and that. I was so young, blah, 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 whatever it is. Look at it from the aspect of, all right, I have experience. I can now assist others that are going through it, even at a later stage in their life because I experienced it. One's empowering and one's really self, self-sabotaging self themselves. But it's the exact same thing. It's just a matter of how they went into it. So most of the time when we have a new beginning, we're starting something new. It's a new beginning, which means we've already began, but you're starting over. You're going into something 
new. You're starting fresh. And in starting fresh, we bring our experience and quote unquote trauma with us, which is why it, it triggers certain reactions from us, whether it's anxiety, stress, anger, happiness. We're bringing all those things in with us. But if we don't bring those in and understand, you know what, I'm not bringing those things. I'm rather just taking the lessons that were there, the experience that I have from experiencing those things at that time in my life. Then you'll realize the stress in those don't come. They don't come with it. It's like I'm going in, but I'm not expecting. I'm not depending on a result because result is the one thing that we don't control as much as we want it, as much as we strive based off of result it's the one thing that we don't have an ounce of control over that is exactly where Hashem steps in and when you understand that why would you allow something to upset you that you cannot control at first it's normal because that's just how we are that's how we're programmed that's how we are as human beings we have expectations this and that and we have an image of something but if we can tap into the fact of not relying on the result of something that will then open that door to endless endless blessings because at the end of the day when you think about it Hashem wants us to have everything that we want anything and everything that we want Hashem wants us to have it but we also have to understand what are we in this world for we're in this world to grow and when somebody wants something they're entitled to grow they're motivated to grow but the problem is, is once they get that thing, the motivation goes away if that's all that they're striving for. And Hashem is not dumb. Hashem knows that. You can't fool God. So if your whole entire motivation is to become a millionaire, become a millionaire, become a millionaire, God will not allow you to become a millionaire. Why is that? Because that is your motivation. That's everything that you, that, that, that's getting you moving. So it's that concept then comes in of whatever you want. And if the more you want it, the more it'll run away. If you chase it, anything you chase will run away from you. Why is that? It's because that is your motivation. That's your fuel. God's not going to take your fuel away because now, now what? Then, then, he, then he, you're not going to go anywhere. So if you can motivate yourself not based on the result, you will realize every single time you will get exactly what you want. When Hashem sees that he can still give this to you and it will not change you, it will not affect you for the negative and make you less motivated and just stagnant on, on life, God has no reason not to give it to you. So when we have all that knowledge and all these things going into it, we then realize the fear of new beginning really doesn't make sense. It's not logical. On a, on a deep aspect, on a basic aspect, it makes sense. It's something new. It's nerve wracking. We don't really know. It's unknown, this, that. But between the, the whole concept of what unknown is, un unknown is Hashem. That's exactly where Hashem can show himself, is the unknown. And then the aspect of, of growth and, and understanding the fact that Hashem is out to help you. He's not out to get you. And it's removing that whole trauma aspect from yourself and looking at it from experience, you'd realize there's a lot of success in everything that you do and there will be a lot of success. So in that, I hope everyone has an amazing, amazing week and everybody can understand and start rebuilding that bond with Hashem because he's on our side. And as soon as we accept that, that's as soon as we'll see all the blessings. Have a good week.